He's been portrayed as an unpleasant bruiser for most of his political career. But Ed Balls could become the Donald Trump of British politics, thanks to Strictly Come Dancing. Let's face it, Ed Balls wasn't exactly a success story. He didn't become Chancellor, a job he was promised by Gordon Brown. He didn't become Labour leader when Ed Miliband got the job. And he lost his seat in Yorkshire at the last election to the unknown Conservative Andrea Jenkins. And yet, thanks to Strictly, the public have recently discovered a different Ed Balls. He's suddenly seen as a likeable, determined man with a real sense of humour. He could even become the worst dancer ever to win Strictly. <laughs> Warning, some of the scenes you are about to see may cause distress. <laughs> Now, Ed says he's not interested in going back into politics. But just as Donald Trump used his fame from The Apprentice to become president, I think the new Ed should relaunch his political career and become leader of the Labour Party. Ed, if you're watching, this is a moment to consider not what your party could do for you, but what you could do for your party. So, Greg, help me through with this. The, the big question is whether Mr Balls should do a sergeant and should actually exit stage left or whatever it might be because he's getting in the way of what everybody accepts are probably better dancers. I think he should be there as long as he possibly can hang on because this is an entertainment show. Are you saying he should come off the show? And no, go I'm, I'm not saying that at all. But, but do you think he should come well, off the John show? Well, I talked to John Sargent about this at the time and John Sargent decided to come off because he thought if he won... Were you DG at the time? Then? No, oh. but if he won... Uh, it would destroy the show, right. that actually the show is about dancing. And I suspect the producers are split. One bit they love what Ed Balls is bringing to it, the publicity. I mean, everybody looks, watches it just yeah. to see Ed Balls. Mm. But the trouble is, if he wins, you have destroyed what the show's about, which is about taking ordinary people, or taking people and teaching them to dance and seeing who's the go. best. And he's clearly not the best. I didn't think I was going to come. I honestly You're going to make your will as a people point, aren't no, you? No, no, no. But you see, this is, this is typical of you and your, your, your liberal elite. You don't like what the people want. You didn't like Brexit. You didn't like Trump. You don't want Ed Balls when he strictly come dancing. No, Guess what? I, if that's what the people want, that's what I the people want. Said, I haven't said that. What I've said is, once the show, once somebody wins the show, not because they can dance, but because they're a bit of a personality, you've put the future of the show in danger. Actually. But it's an entertainment show. We're not actually watching for great dancing. No, but we there, want to be entertained. No, but there are a couple of really good dancers on this this year. But and I, suddenly to discover, suddenly to discover that they don't win because the public en masse you go, you go. like this guy. Quick, quick, actually, is, your, is, your, is your point about his dancing, or is your point that he should become the leader of the Labour Party? <laughs> no, no, my point, because he's a good dancer. No, he, no, no, <laughs> just get the facts no it's right, nothing yeah. to do with because he's not a good dancer. Let's get us. He's, clearly he's, he's certainly got better, and he's obviously lost a pile of weight, which, you know, because it's hard work training for that thing. I've noticed you've lost a bit of weight, too. I've lost a bit of weight, too, but that wasn't from dancing. <laughs> um, but, no, my point is... In some ways, Trump's changed the game in politics. Suddenly, you've seen that actually, if you are famous and you can get to get voted by the by the by the mass, you can win. Greg, you know and I used to do Dragon's Den. Yes, just I, thought I mentioned that. Well, I don't think you're going to be the <laughs> prime minister. But um, no, what I'm saying is, I think Ed Balls was a credible politician. Uh, in some ways, he was a very good politician, but he had a pretty bad. Somebody that I think had a beautiful point, Greg. Really I, bad think, image. I think you're missing the point. I don't think Strictly is really about dancing. It's about Britain. British people like the underdog. Mm. And that's why they love sure. it way more than people who are competent dancers. And that's actually similar to what's going on in politics because. Trump, although he's a billionaire and although he is not exactly part of this left behind working America, he is the underdog as well. well. Corbyn, you know, not necessarily a competent leader. People like him because he's a backbencher, he's obscure, he wears bad jumpers, he's the underdog. And I think this I whole thing. There's nothing wrong with his jumper. It's the resurgence oh, of the oh, underdog. Oh, yes, but do you think that Ed Balls, if he went back into politics, is a different 
figure to the one he was yeah, last time. Yeah, because when time. you put Ed Balls out of Strictly and back into politics, he's not the underdog. He's a Harvard-educated, dry economist who, as you pointed out, couldn't even hold on to his constituency no. seat. No, but and so while he works in the format of Strictly, where he is the most horrendous dancer that will win, I bet he will win, I don't think they're really that divided over it. I think that they love it. People are talking about it. We wouldn't be discussing Strictly if it wasn't for Ed Balls Can I not that? being able to dance. What I think unifies this conversation is the will of the people and how it actually ruins the institution or the country oh, when the will of the people. Just. So look at it. <laughs> Trump, we're going to talk about Trump in a bit, is a disaster for America. Brexit, which was the will of the people expressed, 17 point whatever it was, is a disaster for Britain, in as we view. heard yesterday from the autumn statement. Ed Balls, if he wins Strictly, will be a disaster for Strictly, but it won't necessarily be a disaster for the Labour Party. So I'm with Greg. I think he would be good for the Labour Party if he came back, but it would break Strictly. Do you ever talk to normal people? <laughs> all the time. Or do you just wander around this extraordinary all, all family time. that you enjoy, well, cabinet <laughs> ministers and others? <laughs> no, listen, Nick, you, don't, only, you, only, you don't talk to normal people. Of course I do. You only talk to the people who phone, phone up your you. show. Well, they're normal Not people. Not people. <laughs> no, no. no people who, people, people, people who phone <laughs> radio, radio shows are not necessarily normal people. Well, I think they're probably more normal than Boris and Joe and the rest of them. <laughs> yeah. oh, when you get personal, you lose the argument well, there. Yes. It is, but, no, but all right, Nick, let's come back. Let me ask you, do you on. think, which is the argument I'm making, do you think that Ed Balls is now potentially a more effective political leader because he's been on Strictly? No. Um, yes. yes, in that no. he's got yes. more popularity. Yes, yeah. in that he's got... It, because the one thing he had... Just say this, James. The one thing he had was he was... And actually, I think it was probably quite fair. He was seen as a bit of a bruiser and a bit of a, a bully, if I can say that, and not particularly a bit like my colleague on my right, completely out of tune with what <laughs> real people were thinking. Now, I think it's almost the other way. It's quite difficult for him to be seen to be taken seriously when he's jumping up and down playing Great Balls of Fire. But I think he's more electable, but I'm not sure he's better. I mean, nothing's changed. You know, his policies will be the They're same. They're the same thing now. If you're known on television to millions of people, that makes you a candidate. And Ed Balls is a candidate. Everyone recognises no, him I now. Exactly. Is he's now Ed Balls off but does it make him right for the job? True. I think this whole conversation is missing the point of why populism is kind of on the rise. The reason people are voting for these popular figures is not just because they look good on their reality TV shows. It's because they feel disgruntled, they feel disenchanted, and there's a sense that this popular person is going to solve their problems. Now, Ed Balls being fun on Strictly it does not equate to him solving people's problems, and I don't think they're going to look at him as any he more likely to out. just because he he's been dancing. He hasn't set out any manifesto yet. No, but hang on. So can we judge him? <laughs> 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 by, the way, by the way, I think he's a really good dancer. I mean, to me... I actually have to say that was better than I yeah, thought it was going to be. That's the best. That's the, of the few he's I've Travolta. seen, that's the best I've yeah, seen. But he's got to cha-cha-cha this weekend, apparently. And he has been trained for several weeks non-stop to get that far. But if you follow, yeah, yeah, but he's, that, got, but, he's got moves. I but think. that, but that's not the point. The point is not whether he's a good dancer. The point is, does becoming more famous yeah. to the mass of the population yes. make you a more effective and better well, politician? If it, did, yes. if it did, Greg, Mary Berry would be Chancellor of the Exchequer, wouldn't she? That he's is not the a politician. No, that's the reality. Is. It's not solely down there. It has to be some nous and ability as well. Well, you could have made the same point about Trump and the unlikeliness of him being president. Mm. He's not remotely qualified or competent for the Stop job. It, he's I don't just, <laughs> just. <laughs> Popular. Can we all now vote? I'm, <laughs> I'm giving Ed Balls a six for being the next leader of the Labour Party. What are you giving him? Three. Two. 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 It's a two. I'll give him eight. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs>